you guys um look, you see my skin my skin has drastically improved like by a lot like you guys saw the video that i made like probably months ago and my skin look horrendous like it was terrible um are you guys seeing this my skin is looking better and better each time I come on camera, right? The first time it was like it looked really, really bad, but now it's clearing up. Um, sorry, the first time it looked really bad, and then I made an updated video. I'm learning more and more about my skin. So let me tell you guys, for the past two weeks or so, maybe four weeks ago, four weeks ago, I kept on like I stopped taking my vitamins, and then I noticed that I was getting um what is it called again? This is not good. Um, angular colitis. <laughs> I remember my term, my dental hygiene terms. Okay, let's stop. Um, I kept getting angular colitis. I was just like, why am I getting angular colitis? Like, it's because, and then I remember my professor's, um, Professor T. All right, I'm not gonna say her name because I don't, I don't know if she wants me to be saying her name like that. Like, Professor T in dental hygiene school taught me that, like, I remember, like, you know, sometimes, like, you forget things and then all of a sudden the professor's voice, like if, if, they, if they are a good professor, listen, their voice will be screaming in your head, okay? I'm in hygiene, like, like I'm a dental hygiene, Ugh. I'm a hygienist. I keep saying I'm a dental hygiene student like I'm seven in school, but I feel like I am a student because I'm learning every single day from, you know, doctors into assistants, like everybody, I'm just learning. I, I just love learning. I feel like I'm a little sponge, just like sponging information in and just sharing it. I, I love that. Um, I forgot what the hell I was saying. Let me try. Okay, my professors, their voices are always in my head. Like whenever I need help, I just think and then their voices are just like screaming the answer in my head. Okay, so back to what I was saying. I was getting angular colitis on the, not both sides, but it's just like every time I like open my mouth, my, um, like right here, like I would have like an open sore and it would take like Five and it's five days later. It's not healing, and so I'm just like, why am I getting these, like bump, um, not bump sores, but like those cuts around my lips? I used to get them a lot because I like eating pineapple, and then whenever pineapple, um, the little I don't know what it's called, but little pointy thing that's on the pineapple, whenever it touches that area right there, I don't know. I think there's some some type of like there's something on there. Okay, there's a microbe or whatever it's made up of, all right? I don't know much think much about pineapple. All I know is that I like it, it tastes good, all right? Um, there's something on there that just does not like the corner of my mouth, so whenever I'm eating pineapple, I'll be like extremely careful, just cut it into pieces and just like put it inside my mouth so I don't touch the corners of my, of my mouth with it. And I'll also notice that whenever I eat pineapple, the corner of my mouth would, um, the commissures, another term for you, of my mouth would, um, another hygiene term, would also darken and I was just like why am I I don't know if it's apparent right now but it's a little darker than my complexion um I don't know why but I blamed it on the pineapple because that's what I noticed and yeah so back to what I was saying those cuts around my mouth would occur whenever like I yawned or no I don't do that I know you guys what you got thinking you know I don't engage on those behaviors okay um so yeah i was just like why is my like whenever i'm trying to eat like i have a really small mouth whenever i'm trying to eat and like i would have like these cuts like i can't open my mouth too wide or else i would have like these little cuts next to my mouth and i'm like why is this happening then like the teacher's voice was like screaming in my head it's um angular colitis and i looked it up i'm like yeah i remember i learned that term it's angular colitis and i remember that if you don't have any you know, vitamins in your in your body you can get angular colitis um because and at that point in time i had stopped taking my my vitamins um for my body uh well, for my hair because i ran out i didn't buy another to 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 um to replace it i didn't buy another one and then i also remembered that I had another type of it and I just I like to stick to what works I had purchased the other one out of desperation I'm like let me just stick this you know um, it's just vitamins either one will work and then I started taking it and then two days later boom it was healed so I'm like there was something missing in my system so I feel like just to like stop rambling and like help you guys like you see how my mind works sometimes it just rambles it goes everywhere so just to like stop rambling my point is, 
I think that um, for me, well, for everybody else that is, I know that's for a fact because I've heard and I've read about it. If you don't have all the vitamins in your system, um, all the vitamins that you need, you're, it, will, it will, you know, it will appear in your skin because your skin is the biggest tissue of your body, right? It's going to appear. Um, the biggest organ, sorry, same thing, same difference, right? Um, the biggest organ on your body is your skin. So my face in particular will show you when something's not right in my body. Okay, so I'm not trying to have that. Today I'm going to go see um, a really good esthetician that's going to help me have my skin glowing. And I can't wait. Um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm discovering more and more about my skin. And I'm able to like, um, make it look better. Because I'm, I'm also trying to get rid of my dark circles underneath my eyes that I got after I got into school. Today's a big day for me, so, yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys what I, like, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I need somebody to guide me, to tell me, this is what you need to do in the morning, and this is what you need to do at night. Because I feel like I'm just doing my own thing, and I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I know, I'm learning more and more about my skin, and I know what my skin wants. Um... Sometimes, not all the time, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have these things on my skin if I did. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I currently do. Um, that that has worked for me, and also I'm gonna get some tips from an esthetician today, so I could make my skin look better. Because I would like to be on camera. I don't really like wearing makeup all that much. Um, I'm learning about makeup. I don't know much. I'm doing better than I. Um, I'm getting better every day, basically, with doing my makeup, and um, you know I'm a little proud of myself because I. Beat my face the other day, it looked really good. Um, so, so today, for today's video, so you guys, um, it took me a while to do this little bun. To do this little bun, it took me a while, yeah. So, today, I'm gonna show you guys what I currently do, what I have with me, what I, you know, usually do to make, to get my skin looking like this and I'm also gonna be making videos updating y'all on what my um, esthetician recommended to see if it's working um but this is what I've been doing so far um like if you guys have any tips for me drop them in the comment section that'll be I'll, I'll greatly appreciate them you know I'll take what I can get okay let me stop <laughs> 